Auto sequence initiated flight. Ignition flight. Roger. There's a famous line, what could you do in 14 seconds? Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. And that's a reference to the window that Jack Swigert had for critical LM engine burns required to manually get the spacecraft back on track for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere after that incredible accident. Well, Houston, you're looking good. Apollo 13, of course, we didn't land on the moon, but it was the mission that taught us what humans can accomplish when under pressure, but working together as a team to come up with a solution to get the crew back home alive. This watch is a memorial of one of the greatest moments in human history. This June, Sotheby's New York is honored to bring to market for the first time the Omega Speedmaster Professional Tribute to Astronauts, presented to Apollo 13 Command Module Pilot, Jack Swigert. 36 of these watches were made, with the first 26 being presented at a gala dinner held on November 25, 1969, just weeks after the Apollo 12 mission. The remaining watches were presented after this date to the Apollo 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 astronauts, so that one watch was presented to each astronaut who had gone into space. Each watch was engraved to mark man's conquest of space with time, through time, on time, with the recipient's name and their respective NASA missions at the bottom. In many cases, there were multiple missions engraved on the back of these watches. This specific watch was awarded to Jack Swigert, who was the command module pilot on Apollo 13, which many consider to be the greatest mission. Apollo 13 was intended to be a lunar landing mission, but that didn't happen. Instead, it was a mission that taught people how to survive, that showed us the power of teamwork, the power of ignoring fear, the power of putting our heads together to come up with an impossible solution, which is exactly what Swigert, Lovell, and Hayes did. While this watch is momentous in its own right, it's really the provenance of Jack Swigert's watch that makes this special. Not only does this watch come from the family of the original owner, but it comes with a bevy of personal effects, memorabilia and personal items and testimonials from the family that make this really unique and collectible in today's market. The first 26 that were presented at the dinner are numbered, and those that were presented subsequently are not. But these numbers don't matter. What makes the addition is the name of the astronauts inscribed on the case back. The provenance is the value, their missions is the value. So why does anybody want these watches? It's the closest thing that you can get to an astronaut-worn watch. The stainless steel Speedmasters that the astronauts wore when they were walking on the moon are all at the Smithsonian and our government property. So this is the only watch that you could own personally that belonged to an astronaut that is very close to the model that was used on the lunar surface.